We haven't had any rain in weeks. Trying to keep things alive. Some things were just coming back from the frost and then they died. This tree over here was just getting some green shoots and without the rain, the water and just wasn't enough. Uh, my morning glories are usually full over there. They just fizzled. Um, I'm not gonna plant anything else. I have this arch that we built. I'm gonna wait till the fall garden. I have a tarp to go over it too. And then in this poop and down there on the monkey bars, I'm gonna put um, things that I'm growing just to be able to keep the keep the cold out with the tarp. And then I have this wood stove. <laughs> I bought that thing brand new when I was in New York 10 years ago. Uh, being out in the weather, it's just wrecked. But over here, my garlic, I kept it out of the... Last year it drowned from all the rain. This year it's self-watering, didn't do it. Chickens got into my lettuce. So now, here's where the lettuce goes. And I've got to replant um, some more seeds up here because when we transplanted it over here, not everything came up, just a few. And this lettuce is really good. I like to make salad out of it. So, as you can see, this is up. Last year, I had the San Marzanos growing up over this, and they worked out good. And uh, I got my pepper plants inside. This is a stray cat. He just, well, she won't go away. And she keeps walking my plants. So I got a bunch of plastic forks. I'm gonna turn them upside down and put them in the pots. Kind of deter her from doing that. This is one of my favorite sounds of summer. No, not the dogs barking. With the pulsating sprinkler. I remember it when I first came to Florida laying in bed in the morning listening to the neighbors water in their yard. It's nice and cool out today and it's not stifling hot which it has been for the last week. Evidently mulberry trees don't need a lot because this one I just planted last year and it's growing like a weed. And these are slips over here. And they're growing too. These are sun chokes. And for some reason this year, they're not doing as good as last year. Now I lost the key to my tractor. And I'm not sure how to get another one other than paying an arm and a leg through Kubota. So if any of you know how to get a key, um, This is my, this is my tractor. So we're yeah, I always kept it in ignition and it wasn't there. So I probably, by mistake, put, uh, put it in my pocket and went in. And since I have multiple jackets, it's probably in one of them and I'll find it in 1990 never. So take you over to the greenhouse now and show you what's going on. This is the new chicken duck coop and we got a bathtub to go out here. Mike um, is trying his best. He's not a carpenter. He's a, someone who does horticulture but we're gonna put the bathtub out there and then we're gonna uh, put the ducks in there and then they can just roam around. They like to go out in the front yard, but um, I let them go out when the sprinkler's on. This is my greenhouse. I bought this years ago from Harbor Freight. It's a nice little 
<clears throat> greenhouse. These are my coffee plants. And they kind of got not watered when my daughter went in for her surgery. Oops, I forgot to pick these up. These are the tomatoes I picked this morning from my my plants. I gotta come back and tie them up. That's my noni plant that didn't really survive so well. And then this moringa died from lack of water. Uh, but the tomatoes are doing good. I'm looking for somebody to try to build me some shelves across here. I got this wood for the legs and I got the aluminum for the uh, shelves, but it's hard to find anybody that knows how to do anything that doesn't rip you off in the meantime. Florida's a funny place. There's not a lot of honest people down here. <clears throat> Gotta beware who you hire. I got a guy that's really honest that I've hired for a lot of things, but he's very expensive and I can't afford him right now. Um kind of broke after all this medical bills with Nicole's surgery and my CT scans and all that stuff. But um, the ducks are getting very, very big. And pretty soon we can stick them out there. We just want them to get big enough so they're not frightened to death when a hawk comes over. And we've had a hawk flying over. And the geese and the ducks just go up in the air and look, but they don't do anything. The roosters are in waiting. We are waiting for these roosters to, um, hey Max, how you doing? You're not gonna bite me, are you? That's what I thought, look Max, Max. Max. Mike, who hates me. Because <laughs> Mike feeds them. Mike, you're not going to leave me. Mike, you're not going to leave me. Mike's leaving me. Anyways, I think that's the closest I'm going to get to throwing in the ducks. Stay over there. You stay over there now, Max. Stay there. The turkey loves me. The turkey hates him. Max doesn't like me. Anyway, there's the ducks. Those are the ones that hatched out last month. Look at them. Pretty soon they'll be out like everybody else. So, come on, Max. You want a boogie? Hey, Tay. Say good morning, everybody. All right, I guess that's it, folks kind of the update. Um, this is Face Farm Life. Can you please subscribe? I'm trying to get uh, enough people to have my account worth something. Um, I don't post a lot, but I'm really super busy with all her surgery and stuff. Tomorrow's another follow-up we have to go to. And since it's so far away, I can't take my truck because the front end's not good. I have to take an Uber, which is really expensive. So, anyways, um, over and out. <laughs>